This is the half kneeling pronation drill with tibial internal rotation. So I'm gonna take my hands, kind of wrap around my lower leg bone here. And as I'm in this half kneeling position, I'm gonna think about finding the outside edge of my heel over here on that right side. And as the weight shifts forward, I'm gonna think about kind of connecting with that inside edge of the heel. And I'm going to move my tibia and kind of translate it forward at the same time. So I'm gonna take hold of my lower leg bone and I'm gonna think about getting that twist. So as I come back, I'm finding that outside edge of the heel. And then as I come forward, I'm thinking about kind of that twist. One hand grabs a hold on the back, one on the front. And I'm thinking about kind of guiding that tibia and that lower leg bone forward. Inside edge of heel, kind of working towards that big toe. Watch that you don't scrunch these toes, but keep them relaxed and then coming back. If you find that you, when you come back, you lose that net head, that bony part right under that big toe, you can place kind of a mini band or a sock or something under there just to give you a little bit of a reference point. So I'm coming forward and then pulling back. So it's a heel, it's sort of a pressure shift, finding that outside edge of the heel. And then I'm thinking about kind of turning towards that big toe, allowing my arch to kind of relax and lengthen, not losing the heel. And then I find that outside edge of the heel, then turn in, finding that inside edge. So from the side, in that half kneeling position, if I need to use the mini band under that big toe mount, I can do that just so I don't lose that part as I come out of it. And thinking about coming forward, you're finding kind of that inside edge of the heel, pressure shifts in the foot. As I come back, I'm finding that outside lateral edge of the heel. And then I'm thinking about kind of guiding the tibia with it. You might notice that right to left, you have kind of a different appearance versus like the proximal versus distal part of the tibia. On that left side, that proximal near the knee tibia tends to be a little bit more externally rotated. So, but everybody's body is different. Just kind of coming out of it. And then find that kind of turn, getting that more internally rotated shape as you think about pressure shift, the inside edge of the heel towards that big toe mount. Coming out. And then just sort of guide the lower leg bone. And in terms of my other leg and what's that doing, sometimes I can think about kind of opening and then closing outside edge of heel, inside edge of heel, and then I'm also adding that movement at the tibia, negative shin angle, and then allowing my leg to go forward, outside edge of the heel, and then I can add that twist and come forward, maintaining that heel heavy position.